I got to the leader really quick in a fight. I think that's mostly because it ran towards me. Ow, oh my God. All right, there's my leader for the fourth time. And there it goes. Ow, 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 mother. Ow. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There, I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna. We got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants. Look at the Panama! So I've got this big blue runner on, and I just had something smash, I'm assuming a, a bait fish, right on the surface, right in front of me, and I saw it cruise off. It looked like a small marlin. Now I'm not sure, I didn't get a great look at it. It could have been a shark. I brought this blue runner out here deeper, in 120 feet of water. Oh my, I'm like, I'm like shaking right now. I might have just seen a marlin cruise 20 feet in front of my boat. If it was, it was a small one, maybe like a hundred pounder, which is perfect because I might actually have a shot at landing it. But I've got a juicy marlin bait hanging out behind me. Oh my God, my heart is racing. <gasps> we'll see. Oh my God, bro. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. So Owen just joined me out here. He's got a bait on too. And we just saw something enormous, like smack the surface right in front of him. Oh my God, I think both of us, our hearts are about to beat out of our chest. There are marlin in the area. I've seen one, that might've been one. We both have some juicy baits on. There have been about four, no, I know of about seven marlin sightings in the last week in this area. They are here in force. Like my heart just won't, won't slow down. I'm, I'm starting to get a little concerned. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> they calmed down so nice too. That's good because with you out here, I have no, I have no way to communicate with anyone over there. Yeah, we, it's sort of a, yeah, I can, I mean, I can call the lodge, but we're going to have to hope that there's someone around to hear us. You and I can, uh, can communicate great. Yeah. Or uh, within shouting distance. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far back yours is, but I just reeled mine in a little closer because, I mean, that marlin was sitting on the surface. I, I don't, I mean, I don't really know. All right, so Adam joined us here. He's got a nice big, big eye trevally on. Owen's here, got a nice bait. We got a nice little spread going. We are in Marlin territory right now, imitating a school of bait. We got high hopes. Tide's about to switch to incoming, and when that happens, we're hoping that bite turns on. Yeah, they're out here, dude. They gotta be thick, we've seen too many. <laughs> my heart dude <laughs> might beat out of his chest no but you know marlin and sales will come will come slash it and then come back for it okay i'm gonna chill oh my god <laughs> i mean that was a run my, i got a big blue runner he's pulled some drag but not like that <laughs> oh my god he's still alive i don't know <laughs> oh my god. Marlin. Marlin, Marlin. I see it. Right in front of me, heading towards you, bro. Way left, 25 yards. Right here. We just saw another fin come up. Looked like a Marlin to me, man. It did not look like a shark. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, bait's super nervous. It was definitely heading like through us, bro. Towards our baits. Yeah, no, it was it was cruising. I saw it come up and then saw it come up again right in front of Owen. Oh, bro. 
bro. Bro. <laughs> ah! Not good for my blood pressure. Let it eat, let it oh. let it eat. Now I'd wait. Mine's at the nervous now too. Just give it a second, see if it comes back for it. Alright, yeah. Um, I would say real, real fast until you start feeling if you feel like just the bait wait. You gotta tighten the drag a little. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Let it run. Run, 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 Gave up on chasing the marlin, but I still have my bait out. Something hit it, made a fast run. I mean, it's definitely not a marlin, but it's a pretty decent fish. Oh no. It's coming at me, it's coming at me. Still there, oh God, I thought I lost it. Oh yeah, Jessica hooked up too. Be careful leaning. Oh, I must have gone through with, oh, I'm already a leader. It's just close, whatever it is. Oh yeah. It's digging. It's digging straight down. Just letting it pull against that drag, wear it out. I don't want whatever it is. If it was big enough to eat that big eye trevally, it's big enough that I don't want it green right next to the boat. Don't want it fresh. My guess is a rooster. I'm not sure yet. Just take your time. You don't want it super fresh next to the boat. Keep your line tight though. Ah, uh, oh, uh, we've been chasing marlin all day. We've seen four marlin a day while three of us had nice baits out. I mean, just insane. We couldn't get a hit, uh, but we're talking about an exciting afternoon. And now uh, we were heading in. We ran out of time before the tides get to where we can't get in. In fact, we kind of need to like get this done. We got to be in about an hour and we've got to pedal. But uh, whew, action turned on big time here at the end of the day. Still pulling drag, and this is uh, not locked down, but pretty close. That's okay though. Every inch of drag it takes is wearing it out a little more. And right now, other than this rod butt digging into my pelvis, I'm not expending too much energy, and that fish is. <laughs> what is it? Jessica's got hers pretty close, and mine's not far either. <sighs> Just take my time. There's no rush. Panamanian sleigh ride, yeah. Uh, yeah, it feels like a rooster to me. Uh, but it's not giving up. Uh, tighten the drag a little bit. Let's see if we can't winch it up. Uh, yeah, I was kind of acting like this fish was being a pushover. Now it's kind of getting the better of me. Uh, <laughs> all right. I apologize, fish, for all the, the smack I was talking about you not being that big. I didn't mean it. Come on. Come on. We do not have much time to be dilly daddling out of here. We have to get in two hours before the second high tide of the day hits. Within two hours of high tide, our surf entry gets extremely sketchy and, uh, in our excitement with the four marlin sightings, we kind of were cutting it closer than we should have already. And now Jessica and I are both hooked up and we are at risk of really making uh, this evening's landing sketchy, to put it lightly. Need to get this fish up. There's my uh, leader again. So I basically got about 50 feet of 100 pound mono for a little stretch. I like having some stretch, some mono in the line for live baiting. Uh, I got that to a swivel and then about 14 feet of 100 pound fluoro so that it's low vis, abrasion resistant. A lot of these fish like marlin are known for kind of tail swiping, breaking braid with their tail. Jesus, what is this? This fish feels like it's grown over the course of the fight. Oh, I cannot stop this fish. Did you get it up? Oh, and have you guys got eyes on yours yet? Good 
Come in, Owen. You guys seen it yet? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Dang. That's a monster. How big is that one? <laughs> We're going to measure him. Whoa. Look how fat that thing is. Oh my God, Jessica. tired. <laughs> yeah, Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Great job. Okay, you wanna hand it to me? Okay. Hold on. Hold tight. Okay. Got it. Do I get on the big cock list? Oh man, you're close. Um let's see. 30. Ah! What's the measure? The 43 inches to the fork. Holy That's a 43 to the fork! <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna revive them. Alright. Woo! <sighs> They're hooting and hollering over there. I'm assuming that Jessica landed hers. Come on, get up here. This fish. Oh, I did not think it was that big. I got to the leader really quick in a fight. I think that's mostly because it ran towards me. Ow, ow, I'm gonna be bruised. Something fierce in the morning. Ah, ah, come on, no way. Oh my God, oh, this is why you always want to rod longer than seven, you know, at least six and a half feet. So you can get that around the bow and kind of chase the fish back and forth. Come on. All right, there's my leader for the fourth time. And there it goes. Get him up, man. I'm trying, bro. It's big. Here is Robert Field, YouTube sensation, hooked up. Uh, wow, man. Uh, I've gotten the club. I've gotten the leader up four, five times now. What is a uh, what is a uh, rooster? You know, say I haven't seen it. No, I think it's a rooster. Okay. At first, it didn't feel that big, but now it won't stop, man. Give it time. Need a. Give it time. We don't have any hurry, my friend. It kind of, bro. The tide. It'll be okay. Yeah, doesn't matter. Pescado <laughs> primero. <laughs> Seguridad. Nah. Here we have Roberto Campos, YouTube sensation. YouTube sensation. Ow, 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 ow. Mother. Ow. Ow. Good God. Mira, no puedo. Tell me what Jessica have. Uh, you got it, my friend. Uh, uh, come yeah, on. Yeah. Oh, this is a big bait you had. Yeah. My friend. Yeah. We saw four marlin, bro. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. I had one 10 feet in front of my boat. Shh. Really? I almost pooped my pants. I got a leader again. The sixth time I've gotten leader. I don't see color. Oh, I see color. What is it? Ah, rooster. It's silver. Rooster, yeah. I can't tell how big. It feels, it feels big. Ah, uh, nice rooster on you guys. I just saw a color, but he's not done. Still steady pulling drag out. There goes my bimini twist. Come here. There she is. There she is. Are you still on? Yeah, I've been calling you guys repeatedly, man. What did Jessica get? Look, mira. Oh. Que grande! Oh. A humongous rooster, bro. Oh. Humongous rooster. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my oh. God, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. See that? Oh my God. <laughs> Big fish, you guys. Big fish. Oh, dude, 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 I haven't seen that ever in my life. I think this is, this is my biggest, bro. I think. This is bigger than your last one. I don't know. Pero cerca. Wow, 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 shit. Oh, ow, ow, ow. 
Oh, oh my god, dude. Congratulations. Oh my god, dude. Wow. What? Look at that. We need to measure this guy. You guys, I don't know if I can. Whoa. This right here is the trophy class rooster fish that we come here to Kambutal Panama for. That wow, look at that. is a healthy trophy rooster fish. Oh my god, what a battle with this fish. Absolutely insane fight. Jessica just caught this trophy rooster fish at the same time as Robert. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, I see you. Bro. I see you. <laughs> that is a freaking... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, what? You got the tape measure? Ow. Yeah, I got the tape. Yeah, we have we to measure these ones. Ow. Put that in the mouth. Oh, shit. 53. Okay, okay. As a beast. All right. Yeah, Hooks free. Buddy, yeah. Hooks free. Revive this girl. It's gonna take a while. That was a fight. I wish someone would revive me. What a fish. Whew. Good lord. That is a big fish. Look at the head, man. It's, it's crazy. I'm trying to open his mouth so, so she gets good water over her gills. I will revive her as long as she needs. Personal best rooster. I thought last time, I was like, no way I'll top this. And here it is. She's going. She's going. I see her. Straight down, bro. Swam away strong after about 15 minutes of dragging her my hand and forearm are cramping up. My hand is all cut up. I was worried she was gonna break my thumb. But at the end of the day, all very much worth it. What an incredible trip already. Well, we gotta hightail it in, but this has been an amazing trip to Los Buzos already. Got my first Kubera snapper. First one in lodge history on artificial. It was of any size. And then today, something I never thought I would do, broke my personal best rooster fish, got a 52 incher last trip, got on the King Cock Trophy, and uh, that one right there is good for second place at the lodge. I am beat up, she made me work for it, she put a hurting on me, but I am all smiles. What an incredible fish, and what an incredible fight. I am out of breath and worn out. <laughs> <laughs> Saw four marlin today. I mean, just off the charts trip. We still got a week left. I love this place. I love this place. But we got to beeline it in. I got to quit, quit reminiscing. We got to beat the tide in or this is going to get really interesting. Yeah! When the big ones come, turn into them a little bit. Holy f Get back in line, get back. A little sporty today. Good job, guys! Yay! Oh, good lord. It's good though, y'all got to kind of see the whole spectrum of what this place can be like. This is this is super rare. Yeah, we hooked up at like the same time and I heard her them hollering like 10, 15 minutes later. I'm like, she beat me. I'm like, I gotta get this thing in. I was like double timing. Yeah. Just saying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sierra tuna. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect, I think, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, see, I've seen people fish down here on video, but that obviously doesn't give you the full, um, you know, the full experience. So, 
uh, yeah, the, the guides here were phenomenal. You included. Uh, definitely could not have done this without without your help. Um, and, and just totally different conditions and, and different fish than uh, than you're used to. But this was a blast, man. I, yeah, this is one of the more enjoyable fishing trips I've ever uh, ever been on. That's uh, awesome. Wonderful out there. I think my expectations were built around your videos mostly. Sure. I got a tuna, a nice yellowfin tuna the first day, like 15 pounds. I got a small rooster fish on the SP jig the it's day that after. small either, it's more like 18, 18 pounds. pounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's gonna make a nice, nice picture. I didn't know what a rooster fish was till there was one in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. I was the first one to catch a rooster fish, so I hadn't, I had no idea what I was in for. I don't know. Maybe this isn't fighting the fish was like the coolest thing. Yeah. Yeah. The fight was. I wasn't ready for the fight. I needed a little coaching, but uh, I, no, it was, you got a little coaching. I heard I got a lot of coaching. <laughs> I heard um, Joey had some advice in the moment. Joey had a lot of advice, <laughs> but, it, yeah, but it worked. When we yeah. review the video, it's going to be very unflattering. <laughs> I probably now dove 15 to 20 new species in four days of uh, four yeah. days of fishing. You really can't uh, really can't beat that. Um, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Uh, incredibly diverse out there. Great fishery. So I mean, I just have to bring this up. Shoot, man. But I heard you guys have some big news as of like an hour ago. Uh, I asked Jessica to marry me out on the beach just a minute ago. That's inc I just got like chills. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's like heavy words, man. Really yeah. heavy words. It's a big deal. But it's a big deal. You guys seem amazing together. And uh, I was joking with him. I was like, you know, he was like, you know, I've like thought about it over, you know, the recent past and, you know, thought that she was the one. And I was like, then you saw her pull up that second <laughs> that fish I said. and that was sealed the deal. <laughs> so show off your ring. <laughs> so. It's fluoro. Yeah. It's fluoro. Yeah, it's fluoro. It's fluoro. It's fluoro. <laughs> and what she say that she was hoping for a bimini it's twist? Not a she was bimini disappointed twist. with my overhand knot. She, <laughs> <laughs> she wanted a bimini twist. Uh, God, those words coming out of my mouth sounds is probably the strangest thing. You're ever like just a you're like a real fisherman now. Like yeah. it's, it's official.